lost my dead cat off my microphone on the way in, so apologies if it's a little bit noisy with the wind. I don't have much time before it gets dark, so I've been having a patrol looking about. It's a new place I've never been here before. I found this lovely big oak tree. So I fancy a night under there. Absolute beautiful, beautiful piece of work that. It's a Grantsus Brooks large splitting axe from my friends at Nordic Outdoors. Look at it, it's absolutely beautiful. And they're mint, mate. I'm gonna do a full video on, because I've got I've got a few axes now, so I'm gonna do a proper video on this and the other axes, but I just, uh, me and uh, me and Joey D got caught out. <laughs> well, here we are. This is a permanent part of my kit now. This is my new axe sheet, look. <laughs> I went, I went and got one. <laughs> hey, it, it's, a, it's a trend. Yeah, just a new, fun, man. new sheath. It's all ethically sourced. All that. Wear, These, wear it around <laughs> your neck. <laughs> Anything, look, you know. Genuinely got them stuck. So, there's your, there's your bushcrafter. Eh? If you want a couple of, uh, you want a couple of uh, new axes, yeah. we're, we're probably going to leave these here. There you go, Robin Wood, get out of us. Well, uh, we've been caught out a few times with, uh, you know, splitting pine and things like that that are. That are things that have got knots in that can be quite difficult with the small forest axe because it's it's quite thin whereas this you can see it really does split split the wood it is heavy but it's worth it for me carrying it in I'd, as long as your bag's got decent straps and a a decent waistband on it then I don't really find weight to be much of an issue because I'm not so as long as I'm just coming into the woods for a camp out and I'm not doing miles of hiking every day then I can bring whatever I you know whatever can fit in, in and on the bag weight isn't an issue for me so it's just nice to have the option and nice to have something that you know is going to split through the wood no problem and I've been using this at home for the log fire and it is just it's a delight it's a delight to use and again I cannot recommend Nordic Outdoors enough I'm gonna leave a link below this video to Nordic Outdoors and to their axe section so if anybody would like one please head on over and check out my dudes and, and treat yourself to one of these beautiful Swedish 
axes. All axes are dangerous, but especially this, just the weight in it alone. You know, just take all the precaution you can, watch a few safety videos, go on a course, and do whatever you need to do. I've been using axes for a long time at work, at home, and out in the woods, so I'm pretty savvy. But things go without saying, you know, like swing, swing and bend down, bring your body down with it, so if you're swinging, you're just gonna hit the floor, you're not gonna swing and miss, and go into your leg or into your shin, whatever. So that's gonna suck. So just bring it down, nice and controlled. You don't have to do it too hard with this thing either. light work and you can break, take it down a little bit more and sideways straight in half look Boom. I've got a couple of different methods here just to be on the safe side. I've just been collecting some uh, some grass. It's a little bit damp, so I don't know if it'll go. Ideally, I would like to have had this on the way in and just put it up my jumper or, or whatever just to dry it out, but by the by. And some bracken, which is pretty damp as well. But we'll make a nest with this. Um, I've got my thin twigs finger size sticks and some split wood ready to go so I'll use this for the outside of the nest and then I'll put the bracken in the middle I'll just fluff it up make it easier to catch like that I haven't even got any charcoal yeah, I've got a bit left, thankfully. That's my striker. It's quite good because you, you can use it as a bearing block for a bow drill as well, if you want. And then <laughs> I need to I need to chip a bit off this and make it a bit smaller. But it's just some some flint that I found on a, a hike. Fold it over, find an edge. It's a bit of a rounded edge, so. It might take a couple of uh, a couple of wallops to get it going. There we go. Please. There we go. 
higher. Awesome. Make a little note in me in my book. Replenish char cloth. Oh, in fact, <laughs> that's good. I've got some. I've got some cotton, so I'll replenish it tonight. Go on, steady away, steady away. In fact, I'll do it now. <laughs> there we go. All is good with the world. So I'll build this up a little bit and then I'm going to prepare my tea. <laughs> You'll see the white smoke coming out of my char tin. And that's just the... Um, the cotton burning off and once that smoke sort of stops coming out it is pretty much done charred and then take it off cool it down don't open it because it can combust and there you go replenished so Some coconut oil in the billy can. Put the lid on. Melt that a bit. Don't take long. Put it near the fire. Got some, got some flour. Just bang some uh, Himalayan sea salt in there. So just seasoned flour. And then we put this chuck steak, which. I got from the farmer's shop. So we're going to fry it first just to caramelise it, get some flavour going. And what the flour does, it will then thicken up my stock and create a nice thick gravy. Right. That's the oil nice and hot. While the meat's browning off, let's prepare the vegetables. I've got an onion. I don't have a chopping board, so I'm just using my plate. I like my veggies to go in nice chunky bits if you're slow cooking, because you don't want it to all go to mush. Carrot. Again nice chunky bits killer parsnip size that beast got some garlic perfect last but not least I'm gonna to succumb to saying it without any bother it's a swede it's a swede Fair enough, fair enough. Again, chunky. Oh yes. Okay, that's nice and browned. So, we're in with our onions, parsnip, carrot, This, which is a it's a bouquet of garni. It's got uh, it's marjoram, basil, oregano, thyme, and bay leaf. 
So one of them in, in there, and then look at this. Lucky here. Oh, shout out my boy who sent me this with a lot of other delightful beers. Um, this is 15% proof. It's called Tokyo Death and it's uh, Brewdog versus Northern Monk. <laughs> Don't know who I'm repping, but. This should give it some oomph. Oh, mate, look how dark that is. And that is going to give it a lovely, lovely sweet flavour. And then just top it up with water. There you go, to the top. Because it will reduce. And then as it reduces, I'm just going to top it up with a can of striding edge. Why not? Lid on. Oh, that smell. Ooh. So it's starting to reduce, so I'm going to top it up a little bit lovely it's been cooking for about three hours The gravy's really thickened up nice, look at that. Oh man. It's a lot of food. Get my head out of the way. If you smell that, it's just delightful. <laughs> I'm cold and I'm hungry. Let's go. My mouth's watering. Straight in with some with some beef. Any joy? Any joy on focusing or not? <laughs> well then, that's one of the best yet. Let's have a bit of carrot. As I always say, don't sleep on the carrot. Onion. So sweet. 
speaking of sweet, parsnip. Something else. Uh, the meat just. falls apart. Mm. And that strong ale makes it so. it gives it a nice sweetness, like a richness. Mmm. <laughs> Ah, oh, get on there. Yes. Oh. One pot cooking, mate, outside in Billy Can. It's the best. You just whack it on. And leave it and get on with your chores or, or chill out, do whatever you want to do. Oh, you can't even see it, but look at that. Lovely and thick, just coats everything. Mm. Stupendous. Right, let's have a bit of turnip, shall we? Start, I mean, swede. Have a bit of swede. Lovely, lovely hearty meal. Right, I'll finish this up and then I'm going to have a brew and just sit around the fire. It's a bit dark to be filming. <sighs> Fully ensconced, got a belly full of stew. <sighs> and I'm ready for bed. <sighs> Temperature's dropped, so... I just warmed myself by the fire, did a few press ups to get warm and then got in my bag. So unless something magic or tragic happens, I shall see thee on the morrow. Mad noises going on. <laughs> Mad noises. I think it was some deer. <sighs> right, let's get up. Ah, my digits are killing me. They haven't been this bad for a while. Oh, so I'm gonna. Ow. I'm gonna try and uh, get a quick fire going, warm my fingers up, and make a little bit of breakfast before heading off. Right, I'm not messing about now because. Oh, because my fingers are just. I'm losing all my dexterity and it really hurts. Uh, so uh, what have I got? Something to use quick. 
cotton wool ball, a bit of Vaseline on there. Come on, yes. <clears throat> oh my God, that breathes life back into me. Oh, thank you. Oh. It just makes you realise that how important fire is when you're surviving or whether you're just out in winter or oh, the colder months. It's such a morale booster. And I was struggling to get my, my it's still hurting, but they, I feel the life coming back to them. Oh, I could cry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. with a bit of flame grilled. some energy. There you go. Lovely. Ready. Mmm. <laughs> mm. the egg. Perfectly done. A bit crispy around the edges. Hot. <laughs> That's me happy, that. It's stunning as well, all the... The snow is melting and falling down from the trees. Lovely.
There you go, mate. You can tell I'm a gardener, can't you? Spotless, mate. Spotless. And there you go. No trace at all. Right, that's me done. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to hit the like button, it helps me out. And it's, I don't know, if you're watching it on your phone, it's that, in it? Just that, just do that. And I'd be, uh, be very grateful. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. I've got a few things coming up. I'm, I'm back, back at work now for a bit, but uh, I've got a trip with Northern Monk, a trip with Joey D, and a trip with Matt Morgan coming up in quick concession, so something to look forward to. I'm not gonna dunk my junk because my digits are playing up today. They're really hurting and it's just not worth the pain. But it's a glorious day. I don't know if you can see as the snow melts through the trees. It's just, it's pretty stunning. So I'm gonna enjoy a nice, it's a, it's a few miles to walk out of here, which I'm, I'm gonna enjoy. And then back to work. Oh, it's been lovely to get out. I've been looking forward to this for ages. I've been doing little day camps and little uh, bits and pieces, but uh, an overnight, you just can't beat it. I've loved it. Oh. Now I must stay hydrated and I'll uh, catch you on the flip side. Bye. Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me, love you, bye.